Alrighty. I pretty much well wherever. Oh yeah. I'll show you that other the hand that goes with this. But uh this is all the outer shell. Of course that's the elbow. I'll be doing the same thing with the legs. What I'm doing here with these. Yeah, all these. This is gonna be the challenge. i I can pop those out and hang them. And I'll just spray them. And hopefully they turn out okay. Fingers crossed. Yeah, this is the, of course, the other one. Uh, the shield. I'll show you what this is going to be. This is, yeah, duh. It's going to be, going to be that color. See how that's sparkling? Pretty cool. That's what the inside's going to be. Of course, that one. I may do. I'm probably going to do that the same as I did the uh, shoulder pad for, for uh, Shars armor but the rest of it will be like that and of course that there is going to be a, 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 whatever i did with the the hips uh, armor so all right i'll pause it and go on to the next one okay and we're back here sorry got junk on my foot all right this is what i was talking about for the shield this is the, of course, the uh, left arm, shoulder, uh, football shoulder pads, what it looks like to me. But anyway, that's the color for that. And then these are the spikes. Hopefully the fan's not too loud. And then the outer of the shield, of course, is going to be that. But this is what I did with the hips. Yeah. That's what's going to, that's going to be the... This here will be the color for the chest. This will be the color for the backpack. It's already that color. So I try to make everything a little, uh, I don't know, break up the color. But yeah, here's the other, the other arm. Yeah, instead of painting it pink, I threw it off the, uh, do a little color separation. There you go. So there you go. That's what I'm doing with my Gundam right now. I'm saving the, uh, of course, saving the chest and the head for last. Uh, definitely the most complicated part. But yeah, there's the other side of the other elbow. That is somewhere. Oh, right in front of me. It's a metallic. Yeah, oil rubbed, oil rubbed on. Goes on very, very easy. But yeah, this is, uh, I don't know. I got about the arms in there. I did maybe six hours of work yesterday of that because we, of course, got the grandbabies. But one of them's over at the, her aunt's, and the younger one is not much trouble right now. But yeah, I really like what this turned out. Not too shiny, just right. Look metallic. And just simple, simple silver, metallic silver. So, there you go. Of course, everything's in flat gray primer. No need to be shiny. And that color there is paprika, satin. Nice flat color. So, figure that would throw it off and, you know, complement each other, per se. And that there and you know it's gonna be a pretty cool name Regal Red again it's, it's kind of funny being Shars Zaku but yeah gray primer and these three colors of course the other bright color of course is the berry pink that's a dark pink color and then you've got candy pink for the lighter color. So these are all the colors as of right now that will be used on this one with a semi-gloss clear coat. I don't want it shiny, I don't want it flat. So that's it guys. This is my uh, Bandai update number one. I should have done one yesterday but 
there wasn't that much at the time and we got busy after uh, I stopped and never got back to it so I figured I'd get this done now because I don't think I'll get one this evening. I'm going to be do some uh, home improvement here later on after 4 o'clock. I know it's early and all but by the time this gets uploaded and everything, yeah, it needs to be done now. So I'll get away from that, that fan. But yeah, I had to do a little, not too bad, a little dismantling. The, the hip I did, and then, of course, this here, that goes to one of the armor pieces. I didn't want to have to use, so oh, I used that on that shoulder pad, micro mask, real good stuff. That and uh, little toothpick, just dab it in there. Dries good get down I can just poke it in there and dab it on out of course I had to had to fix the landing gear there there's this is the one I did back in 92 so that's how old it is made it painted it real quick for with what you know, I had at the time over in Germany and when I came back on leave I brought it with me and handed it off to my dad so needs to say he had it easily I don't know, 15 years? No. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. At least 10 years. 10, 15, yeah. Yeah. He had it long enough. I'll just say it. So, yep, that's it. After... I don't know what I'm going to do with... I guess the gun now, I'll just paint it that color there. It'll make it look good, and I'll offshoot it with different colors. Maybe it'll tape those little... Get these off here and make them kind of a gunmetal maybe or I don't know I'll, I'll, I'll offset the colors I'll do something good but like I said I'm making pretty good headway I think being a, it took me oh what, four days three four days to put this build it didn't have too many nubs that's what's good I took my time and did all, did all my uh, nipping properly used uh, well yeah, I should have it in here. Yeah, I know. I'm babbling. Get over it. Not really babbling. Just more information to let you all know. But yeah. These are awesome when you're trying to get them off the nubs. If you can't get them close enough, get right on the edge of that sucker and just kind of you know, wait over back and forth. It should pop down as long as it's baby sharp like it is. But yeah, that's how I did good on that one. That one, I did good too, but we'll see. I'll get to that sometime, but this, as I said, this is my build for this group build. So that's it for right now, y'all. Like I said, that will be the Regal Red on the back here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's got all hydraulic. That way you can see everything. I probably, you know, painting all of that. Like I said, this here is one piece. that slides on there I'll take that off and roll that back and spray it separate so anyway hope everybody's doing okay it's not too bad it's supposed to be up in the 70s today excellent paint weather love it but I think tomorrow I'm supposed to, the rain's supposed to move in next couple days so this may be all the paint I get done for a while we'll see how everything works out I'm hoping I'm able to but yeah anyway uh, I did see I got a few more subs. I got a new guy on there, a uh, guy from across the pond. Can't remember his name. It's a nice long single name. He lo he found me. Uh, I didn't know nothing about him. He's pretty good. He's building a uh, a chieftain. I think that's what he is building a chieftain tank. Yeah, not too bad. He's doing pretty good. But uh, he, he reminds me a little bit of a young Ozzy Osbourne. You know, I can understand him, but it's difficult to you know to make out everything he says but he's he's pretty cool i like what he's doing but anyway like i said awesome i'm getting some more subs which is cool not that that's what i live off of but it's, it's good to see uh, my numbers go up a little bit so anyway like i said i hope everybody's doing okay uh, i'm gonna get off here now for sure and uh if you like this or if you even watch it give me a a like, a dislike, it doesn't matter. Either or. And I 
uh, those are in the group build. I thank y'all very much. Uh, when you get done, if you would, just two or three pictures is plenty uh, for the max of your build when you're done. Like I said, I'll have my email in the description below. Just uh, whenever you no hurry, just whenever you get done, uh, just send it to my email. That way I can pull it down and I can do a slideshow at the end of the month of uh, everybody's build like I did last year. So until then, y'all take it easy. Keep your head about yourself. Uh, watch out for the uh, crazies that are uh, jumping at every little sneeze or sniffle that it, you do. Yeah, I had a couple of them do that yesterday with me. It was over at Walmart. It's crazy. I just wiped my nose and she jumped back real quick. I know we got a virus out there, people, but dang, it's not that bad unless you have health issues already. That's all it is. That's the way I see it because why I got sick is because I had, I was on that real bad diabetes uh, attack thing going on and that's how I got sick other than that I would have never got it or if I did it would have been just like I never even knew it was there because I guarantee we've all had it or even a, a test taste of it and not even known it but like I said keep your head be safe uh, you know barren granite that's all I can say uh, till then y'all take it easy and then uh, we'll talk to y'all later